Hey guys, this is TechX Arena and today we're showing you the first come first serve page replacement algorithm, uh, also called as the first in first out page replacement algorithm. The last video I made on this, as uh, someone had rightly pointed out, that I had confused it with the last recently used page replacement algorithm, so here's the new one for you. FCFS is actually pretty easy. What you have to do is replace the oldest element in the memory buffer by the new one which wants to come in, if in case there's no space available. So as you can see here, th uh, this is the array of data and the whole logic behind this is that there's a main memory. This is the main memory. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the main memory and this is the cache memory. So whenever the processor needs to access some data, it first refers to the cache memory because it is the fastest uh, memory available to it. Uh, so first it refers to the cache and then it refers to the main memory in case it is not found in the cache. So by default all the data is actually stored in the main memory and when it is required by the processor it, it is brought onto the cache memory so that uh, the processor can access it, access it faster. Now as the size of the cache memory is very low so then the processor, uh, the process or the task scheduler actually needs to decide which uh, element or which data needs to be thrown out of the cache memory to make space for the uh, incoming element. So let's start. Uh, first, we have three which needs to come in, uh, into the cache memory, and uh, when uh, since the cache memory is empty, it is brought onto the cache memory directly, and this is actually a page fault. A page fault is when the processor looks for some data in the cache memory and it is not found. So then, in that case, it refers to the main memory, brings that data into the cache memory, and then starts uh, accessing the cache memory for that location or data. Now in the second iteration, 7 wants to come in, but uh, as you can see the cache memory is still empty, it's not full rather, uh, 7 is brought down directly. And in the third iteration, 6 is brought down uh, onto the cache memory. Now all these are done. Now in the fourth iteration, 4 wants to come in, but uh, there's no space in the cache memory, so the process scheduler actually has to make space for the for the element which wants to come in by throwing out the oldest element in the memory buffer that will be 3. This is FCFS basically. So what we will do is actually cancel out 3 uh, and then enter 4. That is the only thing we have to do in the whole algorithm. <coughs> so we cancel out uh, 3 here and write 4 and write the rest as it is. So we just cancel out 4 here and the next element which wants to come in is 6 which uh, is actually present in the cache memory so uh, this is actually a page hit um, uh, let me mark it here because this iteration is a page hit and this is uh, 4, 7 and 6 now the next one which wants to come in is 2 and as you can see there's no space left so we'll delete the oldest element in the memory s buffer by canceling it, uh, canceling it out and write 4, cancel 7, write 2 and write 6 now the next one which wants to come in is 1, as you can see there's no space left, so we just cancel out the oldest one, so we write 4, 2, cancel out 6, and write 1 there. The next one which wants to come in is 9, so we just cancel out 4, as that's the oldest one, write 9, 2, and 1. The next one which wants to come in is 2, and as you can see that 2 is already here, so that's a page hit, so we write 9, 2, 1. Now the next one which wants to come in is 8 and uh, 2 is the oldest one so we write 9, cancel out 2, write 8 and write 1. And that was FCFS for you. Thank you.